The St. Louis Zoo is encouraging visitors to use a new app when shopping for consumer products. The zoo is educating the public on buying products that are orangutan friendly. With public pressure, the zoo believes it can keep orangutans, like their own baby gingers family, from becoming extinct in the wild. HECTV's Rod Milam has the story. For many of the St. Louis Zoo's three million annual visitors, watching the antics of the orangutans are a highlight. Baby Ginger, her sister Ruby, Ginger's dad Chinta, and matriarch Mira swing from ropes and trees, solve puzzles, and take care of each other under the watchful eye of primate keeper Kim Emerson. They are the only great ape that is in an Asian species. They're the only great ape that is arboreal, meaning they're up in the trees. Um, orangutans are extremely intelligent animals. They can only reproduce every six to eight years, and they will even nurse for up to six to eight years. The International Union for Conservation of Species has declared them critically endangered in their very limited native habitat in the Southeast Asian islands of Sumatra and Borneo in Indonesia. And since part of the mission of the park is to not only provide enjoyment for the patrons, but to also inform them, zoo educator Emily Bowling shows visitors how quickly things are going downhill for these primates. I have a visual representation here of Sumatran orangutan populations over the last 100 years or so. Each bead represents approximately 200 orangutans, and it shows the dramatic population loss within the last 100 years. And if nothing is done to stop it, this is what will happen. Orangutans will be extinct within the next 10 to 20 years. The primary cause of this alarming trend? Cultivation of a single agricultural crop, the fruit of the African oil palm. This practice is turning forests into farms. Over half of the world's palm oil comes from the tropical rainforests of Sumatra and Borneo, home of many, many species, including the Langer monkey, the endangered rhinoceros hornbill, and the critically endangered orangutan. According to the Association of Zoos and Aquariums, clearing rainforests to grow oil palms is creating an ecological crisis, but global demand for the product is ever-present. It's hard to overstate the commercial importance of palm oil. It goes under many names, but is found in thousands of consumer goods ranging from cleaning products, cosmetics, margarine, cereal, and even reduced-fat milk. The detergent called sodium laureth sulfate or SLS or SDS, is found in most products that clean, from toothpaste to Windex. And vitamin A palmitate is added to reduced fat milk to add removed nutrients. As common as all of these products are, knowledge about the problems with palm oil is uncommon. But the zoo's curator of primates, Heidi Helmuth, explains the growing problem. This palm oil crisis is something that very few people know about. But because palm oil is so profitable, it's now spreading to other tropical parts of the world. So it's spreading in Africa and it's spreading in South America. So if the destruction and devastation to wildlife in Southeast Asia starts happening on these other two continents, just countless, probably hundreds if not thousands of other species are going to be at risk as well. There is sustainably farmed palm oil that is done in ways that doesn't negatively impact both the environment and the animals that live there, but there's many, many palm oil plantations that are not sustainable. Sustainably sourced palm oil comes from pre-existing cultivated land produced without clearing additional rainforest. How does a consumer know if a product uses responsibly sourced palm oil? Well, there's an app for that. The Cheyenne Mountain Zoo has a palm oil shopping guide recently upgraded with a barcode scanner, which makes it so much easier to save orangutans in your grocery store. For this product, it has palm kernel and palm oil in it. It is actually the third ingredient on the list. But if we go to the barcode scanner, this company has been rated as excellent. That means that probably most, if not all of the palm oil they physically use in their products is sustainable palm oil. We should make it so that you don't need an app if there's a label right on the box that says that it's sustainable palm oil, then you won't have to even pull out your phone to go shopping anymore. The zoo is educating its visitors with signs, demonstrations, keeper talks, and is increasing its efforts to promote sustainable palm oil use through its Wild Care Institute. They're also cleaning their own house. We are also currently and have been doing a full inventory of every product we have at the zoo to see where our palm oil is in our products and what is and is not sustainable. Our gift shop is fully sustainable. Our nutrition center is just about there. Many companies have already committed to using sustainable palm oil products. 
And as educated consumers begin to put pressure on companies not yet using orangutan-friendly palm oil, rainforest in Sumatra and Borneo can be maintained. So when that happens, with the help of the sustainable palm oil app, Mira, Ginger, Ruby, and Chinta can continue to act as ambassadors for their wild counterparts. For Innovations, I'm Rod Milam.